evening, December 24. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. Isaiah 45 We anticipate the happy day when the whole world shall be converted to Christ, when the gods of the heathen shall be cast to the moles and the bats, when Romanism shall be exploded, and the crescent of Mohammed shall wane, never again to cast its baleful rays upon the nations, when kings shall bow down before the Prince of Peace, and all nations shall call their Redeemer blessed. Some despair of this. They look upon the world as a vessel breaking up and going to pieces, never to float again. We know that the world and all that is therein is one day to be burnt up, and afterwards we look for new heavens and for a new earth, but we cannot read our Bibles without the conviction that Jesus shall reign where'er the sun. Does his successive journeys run? We are not discouraged by the length of his delays. We are not disheartened by the long period which he allots to the church in which to struggle with little success and much defeat. We believe that God will never suffer this world, which has once seen Christ's blood shed upon it, to be always the devil's stronghold. Christ came hither to deliver this world from the detested sway of the powers of darkness. What a shout shall that be when men and angels shall unite to cry Hallelujah, Hallelujah, for the Lord God omnipotent regneth. What a satisfaction will it be in that day to have had a share in the fight, to have helped to break the arrows of the bow, and to have aided in winning the victory for our Lord. Happy are they who trust themselves with this conquering Lord, and who fight side by side with Him, doing their little in His name and by His strength. How unhappy are those on the side of evil! It is a losing side, and it is a matter wherein to lose is to lose and to be lost forever. On whose side are you?